Now then YouTube, welcome to another video on my low cost turbo kit car. First of all I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all the feedback that I've received from the officially gas feature. It's great to see so many of you like the car and what I've done with it and I hope to share more of it with you. I'd also like to say a big welcome to all the new subscribers that have come to the channel. I think there's been over a thousand or so since the video was released which is absolutely great. First thing I did after the feature was get it corner weighted and the Geo set up and if you've seen the pictures on Instagram the final weighing was 620.5 kilograms, so about where I thought it would be. Now I've finally seen how much it weighs, I think I can do better. So I've taken some weight off the under tray under the engine. Originally when the car was built that was a 3 mil steel plate and I've replaced that with a 1.5 mil aluminium plate. That saved me 2.2 kilograms, so that takes me to 618.3 kilograms. I've then chopped off some bits that I didn't need off my steering column which were excess weight so that takes you to 618 kilograms exactly. There's some other bits that I realised I'd be able to improve on the car and primarily that's centred around the front uprights, the brakes, the hubs and the wheels. In the last few weeks I've purchased some 13 inch Compromotive CXR wheels but I can't put these on because my front brakes are too big. Therefore I've got done the opposite of what most people do and I've actually bought smaller front brakes. I've also bought some aluminium hubs to go on so what I'm going to do now is going to weigh all the old stuff, weigh all the new stuff, do some comparisons and see how much weight I can save and then we'll get it all fitted onto the car. So these are the aluminium hubs which are from Burton Power. As you can see that comes in at 1.12 kilograms, 1.13 kilograms. So my current setup on the car are Willwood 4 pot calipers with 285mm vented discs. The discs are very heavy and I think I can get something that's as efficient for less weight. So what we've ordered is a new Willwood brake kit, 265mm solid discs. And then the calipers are these Willwood Powerlite calipers, this fetching grey colour. On here we have a set of brake pads, bolts and mounting nuts and things, 265mm solid discs, Willwood 4 pot caliper, and the spacer bracket for it all to go together and it comes in at 5.385 kilograms not masses of room between the wheel we'll see what the new ones look like when we've swapped them over Now I've got the new setup on, I'm going to measure the old items individually, unfortunately my little scales won't take the weight of these so we're going to have to do them one at a time. So the old discs 5.5, .5, the old hubs 2.5 and then these are the old calipers 1.8 with the pads. We used to weigh the new wheels. So these are the front ones, as you can see it's at 0, 11.2 So that's one of the front wheels Now we need to weigh the rear wheels, so these are 8 inch wide compared to the 7 inch on the front And these have got 215, 55, 13's on So we'll give these away Fourteen point one. So this is the weight of one of my old wheels, so we can compare with the new ones. Don't know if that'll come out on the camera, but it's 14.3 kilograms, give or take. Now that we've got everything weighed, we need to put everything on paper and see where we've ended so up. So the differences in the sheet, we've got 2.744 kilograms in total, so that's roughly 1.4 kilograms per side. We've got 7.6 kilograms difference in the wheels in total. 
fuck off. And then 2.452 kilograms difference in the discs and calipers, that's both sides combined. So we'll add them up now and see where we are. The overall weight I've saved from swapping from the steel hubs to the aluminium hubs, wheels going from 15 to 13 inch, and then the discs going from 285 vented to 265 solid is just under 13 kilograms that's 12.796 now we know the overall weight saving we're going to take that from our original weights that's 617.9 take away 12.796 equals 605 kilograms so that's the new weight of the car and now we need to work out our new bhp per ton so it's the bhp divided by whatever the new weight is, 65.1 times 100, sorry, 1,000, 1,000 kilograms. So we've gained 16 bhp per tonne, which isn't a massive amount on a normal car, but on a car as light as this, it should hopefully make a difference. I'll be honest, I did think I'd save a bit more weight than that. I was hoping to get under the 600 kilograms mark, although I still have things that I can do, which I'll potentially look at over winter. One of the things you do need to remember is all the weight I've saved is rotational. So that's the discs and the hubs and the wheels and tires themselves. And it's also unsprung so what that means is that when the car's going over bumps the weight isn't being supported by the shocks and the springs hopefully this should make a massive massive difference to the way the car drives and i'm going to go out for a drive now i'll do a few pictures of the car with the new wheels on and we'll see what it looks like and hopefully it should drive a bit better and importantly i've also got two centimeters more rubber on the ground on either side at the back oh, that is shit. New wheels are on. I'll take you around the car, let you have a look. Let me know what you think in the comments. time to watch the video hope you enjoyed it i'll get some more exciting ones up soon now the work's all done we can crack on and just enjoy driving the car if you're not a subscriber please click the subscribe button i'm not gonna have hundreds of videos every month or anything like that i'll just be on video now and again i really appreciate the support and if you don't follow me on instagram head over to low cost underscore turbo and you'll see a lot more frequent posts and videos and things over there